What's up guys, Miles here with 9to5Mac, and if you're a fan of good ideas, consider subscribing to the channel for future content like this. Today we're going to be taking a look at Stage Manager within the new macOS Ventura Developer Beta. We'll have a full walkthrough of macOS coming soon, but for now, let's dive in and take a look at arguably one of the biggest features coming to Ventura. But first, a word from our sponsor. 9to5Mac on YouTube is sponsored by MacPaws Clean My Mac X. Clean My Mac is your ideal decluttering app for Mac that keeps your computer free of junk and other unwanted files. Clean My Mac X comes from the folks over at MacPaw, who are diligent developers we all trust. And they've made sure that Clean My Mac is not only one of the safest Mac cleaning apps out there, but one of the smartest and most well-designed. With just a few clicks, you're very easily able to tune up your Mac to its maximum speed. You can get rid of those large hidden files that you can't easily locate in the finder. Clean My Mac X also fights off and protects your computer from Mac-specific malware. And those are just a few features. For the next two weeks, viewers can get a 5% discount on Clean My Mac X. So be sure to check the link in the description and take advantage of that offer. And a big thanks to MacPaw for sponsoring 9to5 Mac on YouTube. Stage Manager is Apple's attempt to autonomously manage Windows for every application that you've got open. And outside of mission control and a few other features, I feel as though smart window management was a feature that was always lacking in Mac OS, especially compared to Windows 10 and 11. And that's why I believe Stage Manager is now being introduced in Mac OS Ventura. And the feature is definitely not perfect, at least not yet, but I think it's still very useful in its current form. So once you've got the Ventura beta running on your Mac, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go over to the control Center, and you'll see an option to enable or disable Stage Manager. And you'll also see an option to either show or hide recent apps. And this is basically just going to show your recent applications on the side as a part of Stage Manager. But if you don't want to see them, you can simply disable that. But if you do have show recent apps enabled, the very first thing you'll notice when enabling Stage Manager is that your recent apps that you've used will appear on the left side of the UI and all of your mounted drives and folders on the desktop will disappear. Not that they're actually gone, but you just won't see them when Stage Manager is enabled. And if you want more ways to access Stage Manager, it's actually accessible by going to the System Settings, going to Control Center, and then clicking on Stage Manager and hitting that Show in Menu Bar button. And once you click on that, you'll be able to access Stage Manager from the menu bar. Pretty useful feature. So the way Stage Manager works is you have your center app, which is whatever app you're working on and using at the time. And then you have access to all of your other recent applications on a window on the side. And if you decide to do a legitimate full screen by hitting the green button, then you'll lose access to those applications on the side effectively. But if you simply drag out a window to reach its maximum screen real estate on your display, you'll still have access to those applications. They'll just be hidden and you'll have to gesture over to the left side to see them. And as I open up more applications, you'll see the recent apps menu begin to populate until we reach a maximum of six applications on the side. And that's because that's as many as you can have displaying on the recent apps menu at a time. And this is a feature that I think could be improved in future betas or in the stable release or even later down the line. I think it'd be cool to be able to view as many recent applications as you want and be able to scroll through them in a kind of carousel motion. I think that would be pretty nice. And as you select different applications in the recent apps menu in Stage Manager, you'll see the applications kind of be shuffled around popping in and out to maintain that number of six on the side. And currently there's no way to manually change or reorder the recent apps that you see on the side. So if you click and drag and try to reorder them or shuffle them around, nothing is gonna happen. And this is a feature that I hope can change because I think it's so simple, why not allow us to do it? But thankfully there is a way to group different applications together in Stage Manager and this is what Apple calls spaces. So essentially you'll have one app open already and you'll merely drag an app out from the recent apps menu to join it, and this is a space. So if you click on another app within the recent apps menu, you'll see that both of those windows are minimized and joined together as one singular space. But a space isn't just limited to two applications. So if I want, I can drag a third application window out, and then that becomes a three app space. And as far as I can tell, there doesn't seem to be any feasible limit to the amount of windows you can have within one space. There will just be a limit as far as how many icons you'll see at a time within the recent apps menu. And like I said, I think Apple should definitely consider adding more ways to make these spaces, but the idea of this in general, I think is a pretty good idea. And I think very necessary if you want this stage manager to be functionally appealing to people. And as far as having multiple windows for the same application goes, well, as you can see, there's no visual identifier within the recent apps menu that there are multiple windows 
Windows open for said application, but when you click on an app within the recent apps menu, you'll see that a window is remaining. And if you wanna drag the windows out from the same application and join them together, you can do so just as you would with a space made of different applications. And because you can only see six recent apps at a time, I think it's still really cool that you still have access to mission control. So if you do that mission control gesture, you can see all the windows that you currently have open. And as I mentioned earlier, in stage manager mode, everything on your desktop will disappear. But if you want to access that, all you have to do is click on the desktop behind the application and all that stuff will reappear. And another nice touch, just like other aspects of Mac OS, is that you have updates happening with your apps in real time. So as you can see, the app store window that we've got open, we can see the little video preview playing at the top of it, even while the application is minimized. And this applies to things like messages and iMessage and FaceTime calls. So that's pretty much about it as far as what you need to know with Stage Manager. And like I mentioned earlier, I think this is a really cool feature and concept. And I think with a few more additional features, I think this could be something that a lot of people get use out of on a regular basis. And hopefully the version of Stage Manager that we get in the full release of Ventura later this fall is even more refined and with more features included. But that's gonna be about it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content like this and be on the lookout for a continuity camera demo coming very very soon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. 9 to 5 Mac on YouTube is sponsored by MacPaws Clean My Mac X. Clean My Mac is your ideal decluttering app for Mac that keeps your computer free of junk and other unwanted files. Clean My Mac X comes from the folks over at MacPaw, who are diligent developers we all trust, and they've made sure that Clean My Mac is not only one of the safest Mac cleaning apps out there, but one of the smartest and most well designed. With just a few clicks, you're very easily able to tune up your Mac to its maximum speed. You can get rid of those large hidden files that you can't easily locate in the finder. Clean My Mac X also fights off and protects your computer from Mac specific malware. And those are just a few features. For the next two weeks, viewers can get a 5% discount on Clean My Mac X. So be sure to check the link in the description and take advantage of that offer. And a big thanks to MacPaw for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube.